Coach, uh, Mike and Kevin mentioned like you're big on details. I guess what are a couple of details about both of their games that you've kind of stressed over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I think, you know, two phases obviously to uh, this position that have been really, really cool to coach and get back involved in, in the details. I think in the run game, the biggest piece has just been um, the obvious to us, to us, but the little things of hat placement, hand placement, what's our target in what run, and us hitting that target, um, and how we fix those things with our feet. So those things are every play, the details of it. That way, you know, I've told them, and I think this is so true, that if we do that, but we're this, this far off, which is reality, that's life, but yet we're that close, we can fix things so much quicker. Whereas if we're too far away, meaning we're not close to anything in our targets, hat placement, our hands, those are hard to fix. Those are hard mistakes to fix. We can fix little ones. And so that's been the biggest detail in the run game. And in pass game, I, I would like to think that they would say to that, it's been just the details of second level releases. Our ability to get off at second level and not be foot over foot on contact to where we're getting hit too far off our lines and not getting routes done. Um, our ability to, to pop halves at second level and release and have a plan for why we use what we use at the top to separate. And the guys are really starting to understand, and, and I think we're getting on the same page with, hey, when he does this, you do this. If he does this, do that. And giving them a couple options to win so they know they have a lot of tools in their toolbox to win. And then jumping back into tight ends for you this year, what's it kind of been like coaching them again, or coaching the position again, and then what's it been like working with Coach Rees um, as offense coordinator? Yeah, so uh, been a, been, it's really been a challenge to me in a good way to get back in it, and I love being involved in both phases so much. I love being involved in the run game and front recognition and then the pass game, of course. So I've really enjoyed being back in it. It's been, it's been a good um, – it's been a good adjustment for me to get back in and a challenge to learn. And Tommy Reese, I think, man, is just class act. He's been great to me, been great to the staff coming in. We got four new guys on staff. Uh, so for him to allow us to, to learn from him, know what he wants, get acclimated to everybody in the room, he sustained patience and uh, allowed us to kind of learn and know what the expectation is and kept that and uh, kept us involved and, and empowered us to continue to control our rooms, but also led the offense. And, could say more good things about where we're at in our staff. And then the last one for me is Kane Barong. I guess what have you kind of seen from him as he kind of just works his way back through rehab and everything? Sure, he, he's doing everything he's supposed to do. And I was telling them over there, you know, the last six weeks he's really changed his body back from his rehab. He, he looks good right now and has got himself in a good position body type wise. Um, we've been able to get him on the ball machine in pre-practice drills. He's showing, he has great soft hands, catches it easy. He's a great kid, studies hard, and prepares in the meeting room just like he would be coming out here to practice, which I think tells you a lot about who he is. So he's preparing well and put himself in a good position to come back and get healthy in the summer.